And now, my favorite new thing that we do, that I make you do, really. Cop? Police? <laughs> P- police? Police? <laughs> or let it go. Or let it go. <laughs> Cop, Cop or, or drop. drop. I said uh, not last week. What a loser. <clears throat> I almost had to get in AJ. I, I saw steam coming out of your, your ears. Yeah, yeah, and my face went red, and I made a train horn <laughs> sound. Um, I'm very excited. I'm, I don't know I'm, what it is. I'm, I'm keeping it similar to last week's. Okay. Uh, these are both... One of them is still available now, albeit in limited sizes, because it's okay. running out. Uh, still available on StockX, both of them, for similar, I think, reasonable prices, similar okay. to retail. So, so the resale price didn't really go up on that pair you're talking about? Uh, it actually is a, a, probably a better deal right now on StockX okay. than it was for retail. Um, and it is the Jordan 5s. Ooh. I already know how you feel about these. <laughs> we did talk about these yeah. briefly mm-hmm. uh, a few <clears throat> weeks ago, but I wanted to see. We haven't talked about the Navy pair, mm-hmm. um, which interestingly on StockX are calling a Georgetown. They're calling it Jordan 5 Georgetown. I can see that. I kind of see it, but I usually feel like Georgetown is more gray. I was going to say, maybe that's the gray. Yeah, I know. It's about. very subtle, I guess. <clears throat> StockX could probably make up their own, like, yeah. name, too. You know what I mean? Uh, both. So I did check. So the blue pair, there's mostly smaller sizes left on mm-hmm. Nike, mm-hmm. which they're retailing for also $205, which seems like a lot for a Jordan, Jordan 5. Jordan 5 is, is, is one of the more expensive ones, um, along with like 11, the 11. And uh, on StockX right now, for size 10 in both, they're estimating around 170 Okay. So... Not bad. Not terrible, no. I think you're going to end up, you know, with all the fees and stuff, you're still going to end up spending like 200 Yeah. But yeah. better than it being 200 and then the fees, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, <clears throat> I, we, we spoke about this off camera. I do love the materials. The colorway was perfectly executed um, on this shoe. I think they put... It could have been easily way too much blue on the upper, but I think it looks good like that because of the suede. Yeah. Um, and the black. And then um, it has the, the shoe lock, on the, the, the old school shoe lock on both of them. This one's clear, though, which is kind of cool. It is different, yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, I can see this shoe being worn in the NBA or in college games. You know, I could, a, lot of, a lot of these shoes I don't really see people would wear in a game or anything mm-hmm. but i could definitely see like a blue team right like the magic or something wearing that yeah <clears throat> someone on the magic maybe is ben caro is he a jordan athlete i think so yeah i think he is yeah mm-hmm. that'd be cool um and then the burgundies are an og not like not super og but like an older an older classic like, yeah um that has been released before um another colorway that i i like a lot um that is a tough one, just because you know history and then beauty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go, damn, tough one. The OG heads will hate me for this. I'm probably gonna go cop the Midnight Navies and then drop the the Burgundies, even Oof. though I do like the Burgundies. I know, I know you do. Mm-hmm. I would agree with you though. I yeah. like I I just think the Navies, the I think the colorway is done better. Yeah, a little bit. Although I do, I I gotta say I like the contrasting stitching of the burgundy. Yes. I like the white stitching. Mm-hmm. Where if you had that on this, I think that would make it even. To me, it would make it even better. Mm-hmm. Um, on the navies. But, but I think both perfectly executed. <clears throat> Obviously, they wanted to go more with one solid color on the burgundies, which is why the the shoe holes are also burgundy, mm-hmm. as opposed to that of over there that's black. Yeah. But um, both beautiful shoes. Yeah. Good choices, dude. I, you made me think on that one. That was, that was a, <laughs> I was a thinker. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, overall, I think Jordan 5s aren't my super favorite, you know? A little a little on the bulky side. Yeah. You know? The but, I almost <clears throat> I wanted to do those olive Jordan 4s that are coming out. Ooh. I think they'll be out by the, I think by nice. the time that this comes, this podcast. Oh, the one we're talking about. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, I know he'll pick that no matter what. He's a 4 Jordan 4. <laughs> uh, okay, skip. On, on to the next one. <laughs> Cup. Uh, well, thank you for copying or dropping. Good, good choices. Copying bro. and dropping. You have you don't you haven't missed yet. Uh, let us know, guys, next week if there's a shoe that you'd like us to play a little cop or drop with. Uh, we want to keep this going, so. Or let us know which one of these you would choose. Which yeah. one you would cop and drop? 
Yeah, but like we said, both pretty available right now for a decent price. So mm-hmm. if this is something you guys are interested in, check it out. Check it out. I have some links in the description. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to catch our latest episode, click the link down there. And if you want to check the newest copper drop, click the link up there.